Welcome to your CBS 13 weather and news update. Hi, I'm Dave Bender and here's the update. The cooling has begun. We're five degrees cooler in the Sacramento area compared to 24 hours ago. Almost 20 degrees cooler over towards San Francisco compared to 24 hours ago. And it's only going to get better. Now, granted, we're still in the 90s in spots in the Central Valley, but for tomorrow we're going to drop at about 15, almost 20 degrees. Sacramento is going to top out tomorrow at around 75. So the cool air comes on down. May have a, a morning sprinkle or spritz over towards San Francisco. A couple of clouds in the the Delta may have a morning cloud or two around the Sacramento area to get started on Friday. And then after that, it's a slight chance of precip and definitely cooler. By Monday, will be fair skies again around Sacramento and only 68 degrees. So yeah, it's going to be chilly. Feeling like fall very quickly. 75 in the Sacramento area, maybe a cloud or two to start. Mostly sunny by the afternoon. 70 in the Sierra and a, maybe a morning shower. 68 for San Francisco and Monterey. And that's your CBS 13 weather update. And I'm Adrian Moore. Here are your headlines from CBS 13. The manhunt for a murder suspect is over. Authorities arrested the man wanted in connection to the killing of a 37 year old woman in Marysville. Authorities arrested the man wanted in connection to this. His name is Jesse Jaramillo. He was captured after being spotted by security officers in front of the Feather Falls Casino in Oroville. The victim, Karina Paez Smith, was fatally shot last Sunday. A morning walk takes a dangerous turn for a person in a Fair Oaks neighborhood. Take a look at this here. A large tree branch broke off and fell, injuring one person and also damaging several cars. The incident happened a little after 8 a.m. on Memory Lane. The victim was taken to the hospital. The extent of the damage to the cars is not known. Celine Dion is coming to Golden One Center on April 7th. The singer announced today that she added some dates to her Courage World Tour and we made the cut, apparently. Tickets go on sale next Friday, October 4th at 10 a.m. Members of her fan club and American Express card holders can buy tickets starting on Monday. Wish you could travel back in time to see the dinosaurs? Well, now you all you have to do is take a trip to the Sacramento Zoo. Now through January 5th, you can see the prehistoric animals up close and personal at the new Discover the Dinosaurs exhibit. There's a variety of reasons why the Sacramento Zoo brought dinosaurs in. Number one, they're fun. Number two, we're an educational destination, and kids are going to come here and families and see the dinosaurs, and they're going to learn about them. He's enthusiastic. All right, there we go. Make sure to bring your cameras with you because there are tons of photo ops along the way with all of these dinosaurs. And visit the zoo this weekend for the after hours events. It's called Dinos After Dark and Dining with Dinos to see real dinosaur fossils. Talk to paleontologists or if you want to just party at the dino disco. Admission is free tomorrow and Saturday from 530 to 8 o'clock. And for more local stories and the latest on developing stories, just head to our website at cbs13.com.